Hi, I'm Dan Martin. I'm the Director of Wellness Programs at A.T. Still University. I work on the Kirksville campus in Kirksville, Missouri. I'm a volunteer with the American Heart Association. I've been a volunteer for about the last 35 years. I help teach the BLS or, uh, provider course um, that we teach to all the students when they come to campus. That puts over 500 uh, currently certified uh, folks ready to help with CPR on campus or use an AED. Um, we love this idea of cardiovascular risk reduction. The American Heart Association has a pretty simple way of encouraging a healthy lifestyle. It's called the Life Simple 7. And part of this is to maintain a lean body, uh, try to stay in a normal uh, range for your weight, and the leaner the better. Uh, try to get 150 minutes a week or 30 minutes most every day of physical activity. Um, there is no safe amount of cigarette smoke at this point in time, so trying to discourage folks from smoking cigarettes is a wonderful part of the Life Simple 7. Um, know your numbers, knowing your triglyceride number, knowing your, uh, your cholesterol number, the HDL is the good cholesterol, the LDL is the bad cholesterol. Trying to keep your LDL down and elevate your HDL by being more physically active is a great idea. Um, managing your stress, knowing that life is stressful, and particularly maybe this year life is a little more stressful. I think we can all look back and see how did we handle the, this time of our lives and uh, do the things, take some reflective time, do things to calm yourself, or find that kind of physical activity where you get into the flow and it can really help reduce your, your heart rate and uh, slow down. The American Heart Association is one of the foremost researchers of different things related to the heart. But one of the things that they've done, and it isn't related to lifestyle as much, is uh, there's been a lot of congestive uh, things that happen as people get older, or there's uh, ge congenital heart defects for babies. They're born with different heart abnormalities. And so the research done by the Heart Association has been incredible. And we'd like you to take this moment in time and realize February is heart month. And so during the month of February, you might kind of keep those life sick, simple seven kind of ideas in your mind. Uh, one of the biggest things that we've seen with some of the Heart Association research has been they're putting a lot of emphasis on trying to help uh, with diabetes and to discover uh, things and strategies for reducing the load that diabetes is playing on our society. So one of the things I like most about the Heart Association is Wherever the disease manifests itself, if it affects your heart, then they're funding those sorts of uh, research efforts.